Okay, as usual here, if uh, you want to hang out, uh, have our little haves and wants se session, uh, answer questions. Uh, if you have something real estate related, uh, you got a property you want to sell, probably got some buyers here. Uh, if you got something you were looking to buy, we probably have some wholesalers that might be uh, out there beating the bushes and can find something for you. You know, I just turned on a new uh, one, a new wholesaler. He's done some work before, but he's getting he's getting back into it again. And uh, he called me up because he knew I was looking for a, a lot to build my RV shed on. And I said, yep, I'm still looking for one. I haven't got, I, I got a lead on one from uh, another, another person, but uh, that hasn't come through yet. So, so uh, anyway, anybody have anything or is even services? Uh, do you want to recommend a, uh, a guy with services or are you looking for somebody, a, a contractor with some particular services? Uh, let's see. Oh, Bruce put a question here. Uh, what do you say? Back about Dan. Is Dan going to have a legal entity seminar? I see. I saw Dan was on here. Dan Bryan. How's your? Uh, what What are your plans for uh, having your legal entity uh, trust class? You can unmute yourself and. Um, you hi, go. Bruce. Thanks for the question. Um, it is. It is still on the burner here. I have not st established a date for it, but. Uh, Thanks for the reminder. I guess I got caught up with everything else I had going on so far, and uh, but I, it is still on the plan. So uh, uh, appreciate the, the the shout out. So okay, yeah, we let let us know when you got it. We got it going. We can. I'm sure we got it. people that are interested who haven't been through it yet. Uh, I, I sure will. It's a good. Uh, how many? Was it two two days or what do you? What, it's still only a two day. I usually do a Saturday Sunday. Um, so it's pretty full, two full eight hour days. So yes, it is. Well, and well worth, well worth the time and, and, uh, money invested in it too. In fact, I probably ought to come back for a refresher here. It's uh, been, been a few years since I, since I went through it. So, uh, uh, let's see. Oh, Dan also said, yeah, what did you say? He always done month to month rental agreements. Uh, although I establish a term in which the rent will stay the same so I can terminate the agreement uh, at any time. It hasn't kept me from having a long-term tenants, just thoughts. Yeah, I, uh, I can comment on that too, if you'd li like. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, so, you know, I can really terminate my grievance at any time. Uh, so, I mean, it seems to me, based on what Kathy said, if I terminated one of my month to month for, uh, I would be able to sue and get, you know, even though I could get, I could sue for, you know, unlawful detainer then after I terminate my agreement. So, uh, you know, which keeps me from being in a situation where, I have to sue for rent and possession if I've got a fixed lease for a period where I've guaranteed it. So uh, my, my agreements say that the tenant can cancel and I even let them cancel with a two week notice. Now they, they lose some other provisions, but um, I, I give them 30 days notice and they can cancel with two weeks. So if a judge ever looks at the contract, I think it's very fair. Um, but I also guarantee their, you know, when we, we sign the lease, it says it starts here and it goes to here, but then it says it's month to month. And it gives provisions for canceling. So um, I, I did. I had one turnover during COVID. I lost one day of rent, and that was not for non-payment. I just had a recent where the um, moved out, but I haven't had any issues during COVID. I'm, I'm almost. I almost don't want to talk about it because it uh, it was good for me. But um, anyway, that that's my my thoughts on it. And I've had tenants for. I've got a couple tenants now. I've had more than uh, nine years, so um, it, it hasn't kept me from having long-term tenants. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Yeah, and I have in the in the past when I had some uh, smaller units. Yeah, I had I used a month-to-month -month, uh, tenancy, and yeah, I had one tenant that stayed with me for fifteen years, uh, just on a month-to-month. -month. I think I only raised her rent one time in there, so that was, that was probably a reason too. But uh, she was taking care of the place and. Uh, it paid, it paid the bills for me, so uh, I didn't mind it. But uh, yeah, right now I, I use a, I tend to use it in my, uh, I got single family houses so here right now. Um, and I use a two, minimum of two year lease just because it takes longer to get 
to get a, a large single family house ready uh, up in the market, painting, cleaning, and taking care of any issues. And so I don't, and plus, I know I'm going to get a fairly long tenant if they're willing to sign a two year lease. And, and, and a lot of my tenants, after two years, they, they say, oh, okay, and I offer a one year lease extension a year, year at a time after that. Because I want all my, my single family houses, there's more of a market in the summertime when families are relocating, uh, uh, when the uh, kids are out of school. And so I try to have all my leases come and, come and do within the uh, May, through, May through August time frame. And uh, that, 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 that keeps them coming due. So, uh, and it, yeah, I'm in most, in fact, I remember most recently I've had a, then I offered him a, a one year, ten, one year uh, extension. I think what he was a little hesitant to send a one, one year to start, two year to start with. He wanted a one year, just take one year of time. After two years, he, he looked at my contract. He said, he called me up and said, hey, can I change this to a two year, uh, another two year, year year lease? And I said, sure, it's good. Uh, good with me, it'll be good with you. And now he's on his third two year lease right now. So he likes the two years and see that he likes the house. He likes the neighbors and likes the neighborhood. And since prices on the houses in St. Peter's and that one's in St. Peter's have uh, gone up significantly while he's been there. He's not anything as affordable as the rent he's got right now. So. Yeah, and Lloyd, I'll add on to that. Now, my leases, my leases say there's a term at the very beginning. So it's sometimes that'll be a two-year term or a year and a half term. Mine all ended May too. Um, so the tenants, even though it says in paragraph five that it's a month to month, they still treat it like it's an annual or a two-year lease. I mean, a two-year rental agreement. Mm -hmm. uh, my thinking is that, uh, and I, they'll even call me and say, hey, the lease is coming up. It's technically month to month anyway, but... So they could cancel any time, but um, they want they want to be guaranteed that it's going to renew. So uh, I, I've just found that I've got all single families also. I've just found that when someone has to move out, they move out anyway. Or they, if they can't quit, if they stop paying, they, they're going to stop paying anyway. So uh, it's just worked well for me. But a lot of the tenants think, I mean, they we go over it and we read it to them, but um, they still, they look at the term part of the agreement where it says it starts here and ends here. And then when we get to the later paragraph that says it's a month to month agreement, they'd be canceled after the first month and all this. They don't, they don't seem to, you know, it doesn't seem to sink in quite as much. So it works well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I understand that. Uh, yeah. Um, like I said, I've had, I've had good luck both ways, but uh, uh, yeah, as far as leaving without, you know, if somebody moves or gets a new job or someone has to move out of town, I do have a provision in my, my two year leases though that if somebody has to, uh, wants to leave or needs, needs to leave before the end of the term, I do have a, uh, an early termination fee, which covers, it is the equivalent of six weeks in rent. And I say, if you pay that, pay that fee, uh, when you give me notice, um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say I'll, I'll give you a good reference, your terms of your agreement are satisfied and, and everything. In fact, I just had one of those that, uh, happened on me in uh, just, a couple, just a couple months ago. So, because uh, it usually takes me about six six weeks, get things turned around, get a paint, get my painter in, freshen everything up, and get a clean crew lined up, and plus make whatever repairs need to be done and needs to be freshened up. There's a lot of things, just when you're turning over that, yeah, that deck could be okay for, a, the stain on it is looking a little shabby, but yeah, if I want to get a top notch tenant in, I got to put a fresh coat of, Stain on the deck and those kind of things I wouldn't normally do. So, uh, so it, it uh, and I find I can usually uh, turn turn one of my houses in six weeks. So that that covers uh, uh, those expenses, unexpected expenses when it happens. Oh, anybody else have anything? Um, any other? Uh, um, anybody looking for a contractor or? Anything I'm helping my son. I just threw out here. I'm helping my son uh, right now. Looking, he's he's back in the market looking for a house down in the uh, small house, two or three bedrooms down in the uh, uh, Lee May Afton area. So if anybody has anything or knows of any 
anybody that's uh, wanting to sell a place down, down there, 63, let's see, 63123 or 63125 zip codes is what they're primarily looking for. So if you know of anything, any, uh, any uh, anybody got something to, for sale down there that may not be on the MLS right now, they're working with a realtor on the MLS, but I like to look at all, all the possibilities out there when, when, uh, um, when I'm looking for something. I found the, the house where I'm living right now, I found, or my sister found it for me. That, um, we were looking on the MLS and working with a realtor, but she happened to be driving by, saw this sign on her way after she had been meeting with my realtor, because I was, I was out of town or out of the country at the time, and she was scouting things out for me. I said, oh, there, there's, a, there's a house. And drove by, knocked on the door even, so they said for sale by with a phone number. She said, oh, I'm here. I'll just knock on the door. They invited her in, showed her, and they sent me some email. They emailed me some pictures, and we ended up, we ended up signing a contract with my sister for it. It was such a good deal that uh, if we got back here, we didn't really like it. I could have turned it into a rental. So um, I like exploring all the possibilities. So uh, yeah, if you got anything, I'll go ahead and put my uh, information here, contact information. Notice, yeah, darn it, I hit this in. I only put my. I forget, you hit enter and it takes it. I, I was going to look, put it on my phone number on the next line. So, anyway, there you go. My contact information. If you know, know somebody in those areas that uh, you know of a house down there, you've seen it for sale by owner, sign yourself. And uh, didn't take advantage of the deal or you passed on a deal down there. Yeah. Give me a holler and maybe we can work something out. Well, I am. I'm always okay. looking for to fix up. Okay. My son and daughter-in-law, yeah, maybe not so much. They, 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 they're looking for something they can move into relatively quickly. But I, yeah, uh, some paint and carpet is great, would be great. Yeah, they're, they're willing to do that. Um, some freshening up uh, or some, maybe some exterior thing. But I think you're looking to. Uh, move into something that they can, uh, yeah, get into fairly fairly quickly here without too. Okay, thanks. Uh, too much, too much turnaround. No, no, no kitchen and bath updates. So. <laughs> Just some, okay, clean a, clean a few bedrooms or do a little well, freshening up in a basement. Yeah, they're even preferring a, a partially finished basement too. So. Okay. Yeah, they got they got more requirements than I do when I'm looking for a house. <laughs> okay, I just thought I'd clarify that a little bit. Okay. Yeah, thank you, thank sure. you. I forgot to mention that. Oh. Uh, Anyway, anybody else got anything? I got my little house in Hazelwood just about uh, ready. It's going to need some final finishing touches. I decided to let somebody else finish colors and some of that other stuff. But the guy who's been working on it, we're, we're planning on next Wednesday. It'll be ready, and I'll, I'll probably put it up for sale. Um, I won't list it probably till the end of the month, but I'm just going to put it out there, that little one. And, <laughs> you know, it's uh, I'm going to have people look at it for, you know, 20000 bucks, 19000 it's a little one bedroom. It used to be a two bedroom until they changed the rules. But, <laughs> so yeah. if anybody wants to know about that, you, you can get in touch with me. I'll put my uh, my contact in there too, uh, and I can get you. I can let you go look at it if you'd like. So, okay. Oh yeah, it reminds me. Um, how was your uh, buy here, sell here site uh, coming along? It's, it's actually going good. It's up and running now. Um, I just, yeah, if anybody has something they want to list on there, feel free to go ahead and, uh, and send me information. And I can, I can put it up now. We have to have somebody else do it because I decided okay. to let a uh, webmaster do it, not me, to make sure it gets done. So, yeah, we're, we're ready to go with that. Okay. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. We just email you some information and uh, on a listing. Okay. Very good. Okay, well, if nobody else has anything, I guess we'll call it a short day here. Appreciate everybody tuning in. I think Melody had a question for you, John. Yeah, I'm putting that in there right now. It's a uh, buy, sell yeah. here, oh, yeah. and it's dot club, dot com, dot club. 
So he does have that set up now. There it is. <clears throat> Okay, so anybody go in and look at what, what the listing's on there, but to get a listing on there, you'll have to uh, go through you and you'll get it to your, your webmaster. I still hear that club, okay. Okay, and there's, yeah, you sent to John the Dillionaire at gmail.com. Okay, you got something on the list. Okay, thank you, John. And on the RIA, no, it's not on the RIA website. No, it's not, not associated with the RIA website. Yeah, we've got enough, uh, enough issues trying to keep our, 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 our stlria.com uh, up to date with our latest uh, activities and things. And I know some, yeah, some of the other groups have done some things like that, but then they, they're the for-profit ones that have a full-time somebody in the office to monitor monitor it and take care of that thing. We don't, we're all just volunteers. And so far, nobody has volunteered to take on that responsibility, but hey, if you want to, you know, let me know. Yeah, I got my contact information. We'll do some more, some volunteer work for us to monitor our site. Yeah, we, 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 we could use some help. In fact, we're looking for, we, we're always letting people have more technical skills than uh, uh, the people on the board. So, and uh, appreciate uh, anybody wants to uh, to help out, let us know. I have a quick question. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, and when looking for um, mortgage lenders, uh, do do we have a um, like a resource on what questions to ask for and what to compare when you look at one mortgage <clears throat> lending company versus the other, because they all seem to look the same. Um, and I'm not a accountant, but I, I'm just wondering if there are things I should be looking for um, when I compare one to the other. Any um, advice on that? Um, yeah, anybody have any um, good advice? Uh, been a while since I've compared in the mortgage comparison business, but uh, John, you're a, you you were, used to be in the mortgage business. Well, you know, it, it's there's not one size fits all. Tony, look at John's house. <laughs> it depends on what you're looking for. Um, you know, a good suggestion might be to talk to Rob Fishbein, oh, yeah. one of our vendors, because he um, he cool deals with a lot of different lenders, some that are. Uh, some Maybe that are retail and some hard money and then everything in between. Could so be. Me, it looks like he's got a walkout basement if it is. Uh -huh. well, let me, I'm going to mute you there, Tom, for a second. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Tom, Tom um, forgot guys, it's my <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll give you Rob's contact information. He would be a good one to contact in regards to that because he deals with a lot of different situations and a lot of different ends of the spectrum on lending. So that's probably a good place to, uh, to, su to start. So let me, let me find him here. Yeah, that sounds good. I was just looking at two different, um, uh, I don't know if I should name them, but I was looking at two different mortgage companies um, because I wanna keep my options open. I'm looking for a two family, because it's, it's been years since I've been um, looking but I'm also looking for a single family in case I can't find a, a two family uh, since those are hard to come by in like the county area, like Central Corridor, Maplewood, Richmond Heights area. Um, but yeah, I'm just looking for a mortgage company that can offer both. So I'll look, I guess you're, are you put, putting that information in on the chat? Or? Yes, I'm, I'm okay. looking them up right now. I'll get it right in there for you. So. Well, all right, okay, right, yeah. thank you. Uh, Rob uh, also um, is one of our sponsors on our website at stlreia.com. Uh, he'll, he'll see his one of his his logo for uh, uh, forget the name of his company. Um, he's he's on down down the right right hand side of our website. And we do have also uh, yeah um, that one Mercantile uh, Capital, another lender that. Uh, 
uh, as one of our supporting uh, um, vendors. Yeah, JM uh, Real Estate Capital. There's, that's Rob's company. And then we also have- uh, Oh, I see it there. Okay, thank you. We also have, uh, I said, uh, Mercantile Capital. I think he's more of a, does more of a hard money lending situation for uh, rehabbers and house flippers type thing. But you might check, check with him too, to see if he's got, got something. But I know Rob, yeah, Rob, Rob's um, been on several times and he sounds like he's got the, a big variety of, he's a good uh, broker. He's got a lot, a lot of contacts and a lot, a lot of lenders that he can, he can tap into a variety of things. And uh, sounds like he's pretty, they're pretty competitive. Okay, I'll reach out. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks for asking. Oh, anybody else? Got any, got any last words? If not, we'll call it a day here and look forward to seeing everybody. Well, hopefully next Tuesday at uh, with Harper Zelenko on the third Tuesday, seven o'clock. Uh, if not, back here with Kathy. Uh, next week at the same time. Take care, everybody. Thanks for coming on. All right. Good to see you, everybody. Thanks for coming today. We'll see you next week or sooner if something else sooner. comes up. Hopefully sooner. Okay. Thank Bye -bye. you. Thank you.